However, it won't be long before the nights start to close in and the temperature drops as we head towards, well, the end of the year. Christmas, New Year and bad weather, unfortunately. And when this happens, local churches step up to help the homeless by running shelters. And they need your help. Bracknell and Wokingham have paid vacancies. And to tell us more is Elaine Chalmers-Brown, director of Pilgrim Hearts Trust. Uh, pleasure to talk to you, Elaine. Um, this uh, this is new then, is it? The paid vacancies? Uh, no, we've uh, been running the night shelter in Bracknell for four years. Um, and uh, this, so this will be our fifth year. But it is a new one in Wokingham. Um, and that's going to be just as a pilot project for two months. But uh, Bracknell, we have uh, two night shelter managers at the moment, and we need a third one. So that's, um, and we need them for Wokingham as well. Okay, so if anybody's listening, what, what qualities should they have for you to be interested in them being a night manager? Well, they have to have experience of working with homeless people. Um, They've also got to have a sense of, I would say, you know, uh, fair play. Um, often you've got to treat everybody equally. And um, we have volunteers that work extremely hard and are coordinators. So you're working with, a, 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 you need a team player, I would say, right. um, who, who would work. And obviously you've got to stay awake overnight. Most so you need people mm, shift work. <laughs> yeah, people who are used to shift work. Yeah, and and how many people are they going to be dealing with at any one time, Elaine? Well, last year we had over ninety-five in different individuals who wanted to attend the, the night shelter. But on an average night, you have about um, sixteen um, people. But out of the ninety-five people who came to the Bracknell Night Shelter over four months, 26% of those were women. So it's 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 both male and female. So, you know, and the age range was from 20 to 60. Wow. So it's quite, uh, quite a yeah. wide age range. And which churches are involved in all this then? Because although it's under the umbrella of the Pilgrim Hearts Trust, uh, there is an input from faith communities, isn't there? Oh yes, and Pilgrim Hearts is is a faith um, charity, but it's it's open to. Um, we have Anglicans, uh, Church of England, Baptists, Methodists, uh, Seventh Day Adventists, so, and the Roman Catholics. So we have a quite um, a spread of of faith organisations, and some of our volunteers don't have any faith at all, but they just want to help and come alongside people. And is this something that is growing, the need for this over the winter? I mean, do you see the demands on your services increasing year by year? Um, yes. The first year we had 20. Um, and these are all people from Bracknell area. It's not as if they've been parachuted in. They are from uh, the local area. So what... So and then... Last year it was 95, um, but they have to go through um, a procedure in order to have a ticket for the night shelter. So um, we are, it is increasing. Um, accommodation in this part of the world is very expensive for most people, and a lot of private landlords will not take people on universal credit. So you've got two issues there, really. Yeah. Well, if people do want to volunteer to help, uh, maybe as the night manager, maybe just doing anything else or even giving donations of blankets or whatever else you need, how do they find out more details, Elaine? Um, the job description is on Homeless Link. Um, also, we have our, our website, which is just pilgrimhearts.org.uk and um, they can email us in, which is pilgrim.hearts at gmail.com. And the job, once again, it's night shift. And how many days a week would it be? It's two for Bracknell, and we probably need um, 
three for Wokingham. We may have two for Wokingham already, but we are in the process. But, you know, obviously it's for four months in Bracknell, which is quite quite a long time. Yeah. Sure. So, uh, you know, it's just... It just is a um, a way of helping um, people. No, of course. And and we get people then in. Last year we got some people into accommodation by the end of the night shelter, which was great. Well, fantastic. So you do look after the future. Brilliant. Well, Elaine, thank you for joining us. Wish you well with it, and I hope we get lots of people applying for the jobs. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. All the best. Have Bye. A good day. Thank you, you too. Bye-bye. Elaine Chalmers-Brown there, director of the Pilgrim Hearts Trust.